Now we're going to look at complex numbers. The equation x squared equal negative 1 has no real solutions. So we define the imaginary number i, which will allow us to take the square roots of negative numbers. i is equal to square root of negative 1. Also, if you square both sides, i squared would equal negative 1. Because remember, when I square both sides, or square a square root, it frees out the radicand. Now we can take the square roots of negative numbers, like square root of negative 25 would be 5i. We're going to express each number in terms of i and simplify if possible. So in this one, I see a negative 100. So that's the square root of negative 1 times 100. This is i. That is 10. Now, if I don't have any radicals and all I have is just a number, then normally they write it the i behind the value. You try b and c. I know it's going to be an i. Square root of 49 is 7, so that would be 7i. This one, 23 does not contain any um, perfect square factor, but it does have that. I'm going to pull the i out. Now, if I have a radical left, the i will be written in front of, because some people have a real flair with the square roots and they extend it too far. Let's look at D. I know I have negative 1. I also have 18. So negative 1 times 9 times 2. This is getting me back to something I've already done. So I know I'm going to have an i here. This comes out as a 3. I'm going to have a square root of 2 left. So I'm going to have a 3i square root of 2. Notice how it's written. The radical part, if there's anything left, is put at the tail end. The non-radical value is in the front, and I is just in the middle. So I need you to try uh, E and F. See how you do. See, I'm going to divide 3 into that. If I did that, that would give me 36. You might have arrived at it a, a different way because you could divide by 2 and just start breaking the thing down. Well, divide by perfect squares. That's usually the easiest thing. So if you can divide by 4, you can get a smaller number and see if you have another perfect square. So I would have a negative 6i square root of 3. So now these, looks like I've got binomials down here, which is alright. I'm not going to be able to do anything with the front end. I'm just going to work with the back end. I have an i and square root of 36. Square root of 36 is 6. Got to keep that i. This one This one. And that's it for this section. So it still has you simplifying radicals, but now if there's a negative under there and you're asked to express each number in terms of i, you just follow the directions. So read your directions carefully to see what you need to do. Thank you.